It is Wednesday, September 30th. I'm Amira David and here are your headlines with 7 Action News. We are following the search for a suspect in a deadly shooting in Warren. This happened last night at the home on LaSalle near 8 Mile and Gratiot. Police saying a man rang the family's doorbell to tell them a stranger was in their backyard. We're told the father went outside to check and the suspect fired at least five shots, hitting the man twice. The victim later died at the hospital. Today, former United Auto Workers Union President Dennis Williams is set to plead guilty following a federal corruption investigation. Williams is expected to make the plea this afternoon when he's arraigned at U.S. District Court in Detroit. He's been charged with conspiracy to embezzle union funds and forfeiture. He served as UAW president from 2014 to 2018 before retiring. Williams was the 15th person charged in this major corruption investigation. TEDx Detroit is back today with a whole new format for the first time. The conference that celebrates technology, entertainment and design ideas is completely virtual and free to those who register online. This year's event will feature Al Jean, the executive producer of The Simpsons, LZ Granderson, a columnist for the LA Times, CNN and ESPN, and also Mike Ellison, an Emmy Award winning producer, actor and recording artist. And you can register to take part uh, over on the TEDx Detroit website. Kevin? Well, uh, the high of 64 today, more rain showers this afternoon, and also a little windy, some gusts as high as 30 miles per hour today. More showers tomorrow, dry weather than Friday and Saturday where the sun will be out, but it's going to be much colder this weekend with highs in the mid-50s. Could see some frost in a few areas Friday night into Saturday morning as lows drop to the 30s. We do warm up a bit next week, back to the mid-60s beginning Tuesday.